people may need to wait for a long time. What are you queuing for? I'm going on an overseas holiday next month, and I want to buy foreign currency while the exchange rate is favorable. What foreign currency are you going to buy? U.S. dollar. What? In Moroccan dirhams. I do know that not every foreign currency exchange rate changes. The U.S. dollar and Hong Kong dollar have a fixed exchange rate. The link exchange rate system has been in effect in Hong Kong since 1983 to present. Because of this, exchanges between Hong Kong dollar and U.S. dollar are at a fixed rate of approximately 7.8 Hong Kong dollars against one U.S. dollar. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, I have discovered that you are very articulate and speak at a very comfortable speed. You don't speak too quickly or too slowly, and you say about 150 words per minute. It is very clear and comfortable to a listener. I have a lot to learn from you. I have to improve my speaking speed to about 150 words per minute or 2.5 words per second. The comparison between time and number of words spoken and the comparison between Hong Kong dollar and US dollar are both comparisons of different quantities. The comparison of two quantities of different kinds is called rate. Currency exchange rate, speed, and interest rate that we use every day are examples of rate. It's you. What are you doing up there? I treasure my holiday. It is so relaxing and I wish to improve my aura. Oh, I'm going to have a horse riding tomorrow. Are you going? Hmm, that sounds good. Hey, let's continue the topic of rates that we have not finished discussing previously. When we express a relationship as a rate, we often use the symbol slash to represent the word per for expressing the relative amount of one quantity for one unit of another quantity. For example, this is how a horse riding rate of $20 per hour is represented. Have you noticed that the rate is in fact an arithmetic operation? Yes, a rate is a comparison of two different kinds of quantities by division. Moreover, rates has units. For example, I had a guide ride yesterday. A glider can fly three times in 75 minutes. That is, the rate of operation of a glider is 0.04 times per minute or 2.4 times per hour. Hey, if the rate of operation is maintained, can the glider fly 10 times in 5 hours? The rate of operation of the glider is 2.4 times per hour, so this glider flies 12 times in 5 hours. If we ignore other factors, this glider can definitely fly 10 times in 5 hours, and it could even fly more than it needed to. Whoa, it's really steep. Oh, it's earthquake. What, are you climbing up to the roof? Do you exercise? You are complaining after a little bit of walking up the slope. I exercise every day, but the roof is really steep. How steep is it? The gradient of this slope is about 1 to 2, and this indicates how steep the slope is. The slope is a comparison of the vertical height and horizontal length. A gradient of 1 to 2 indicates that for every one unit of vertical rise, there will be two units of horizontal run. A right angle triangle is used to represent the ratio 1 to 2 units of vertical height to horizontal length. A gradient of 1 to 2 is steeper than a gradient of 1 to 4. This is because for a gradient of 1 to 2, there only needs to be two units of horizontal run to achieve one unit of vertical rise while a gradient of 1 to 4 would require 4 units of horizontal run to achieve 1 unit of vertical rise. You can see which one has the greater gradient by comparing the two right angle triangles. In daily life, there are quite a lot of similar comparisons. For example, 1 to 99 diluted household bleach, television screens with a width to height ratio of 16 to 9, this and the slope we just talked about are all examples of ratio. Ratio is a comparison of quantities of the same kind. Division is used to compare two quantities of the same kind for ratio, and ratio has no units. This is how we express a ratio of quantity A to quantity B of the same kind. A and B are called terms. A ratio with two terms is called a two-term ratio. In a ratio, the order of terms is very important. The terms should correspond to the quantities compared. A to B is not equal to B to A. Let's refer back to the example of diluting bleach with water. The ratio of the volume of bleach to that of water is 1 to 99, whereas the ratio of the volume of water to that of bleach is 99 to 1. I'm so thirsty after talking for so long. Let's try some special drink. The goat milk tea? 
In order to obtain a ratio, the quantities involved of different units should be changed into quantities of the same unit. For example, when comparing 375 millimeters of goat milk with 1 liter of tea, since 1 liter is equivalent to 1000 millimeters, the ratio of 375 millimeters of goat milk to 1 liter of tea is 3 to 8. A ratio remains unchanged if each term of the ratio is multiplied or divided by the same non-zero number. Hence, we can use multiplication or division to simplify a ratio. Let's try to solve this problem about ratios. In the first part, let's first express the ratio as a fraction. Do the cross multiplication and then simplify the expression. Converting 5b equals to 4a into a fraction. We can then write the fraction out as a ratio. So the answer to this problem is a to b equals to 5 to 4. In the second part, let's first divide bracket 2a minus b to bracket a plus 2b by b and do the mathematical operation. Then, substituting a to b equals to 5 to 4 that we work out in the first part into the expression. This makes 3 over 2 to 13 over 4. We can then make the denominator 4 on both sides, which makes 6 over 4 to 13 over 4. Simplify the expression and then we can get the answer, which is 6 to 13. Now I'll try to solve a problem about ratios from a past public examination. The cost of rice of brand A and rice of brand B are $8 and $4 per kilogram respectively. If x kilograms of rice of brand A and y kilograms of rice of brand B are mixed so that the cost of the mixture is $5 per kilogram, find the ratio of x to y. The answer is like this. The cost of x kilograms of rice of brand A is 8x. The cost of y kilograms of rice of brand B is 4y. After mixing x kilograms and y kilograms of these two brands of rice, the cost of the mixture is 5 times bracket x plus y. And the expression representing this relationship is 8x plus 4y equals to 5 times bracket x plus y. After operations, the ratio of x to y is equal to 1 to 3. Kimi, we have discussed two-term ratio. Well, then a comparison of three or more quantities of the same kind is... Continued ratio. Ratio can also be used to represent the relationship among three or more quantities of the same kind. We express this as A to B to C. If there are three terms, we call it a three-term ratio. Like a two-term ratio, if we multiply each term of a three-term ratio or divide the term with a non-zero number, the ratio remains unchanged. There's one thing we should note. A two-term ratio can be expressed as a fraction, but if a ratio has three or more terms, we can express it as a fraction. This is a three-term ratio. A to B to C equals to 1 to 3 to 6. We can convert it into three corresponding two-term ratios, which are A to B equals to 1 to 3, B to C equals to 3 to 6, and A to C equals to 1 to 6. Let's look at it in reverse. If there are two two-term ratios and they have a common term, we can combine these ratios to obtain a three-term ratio. If there are two ratios, A to B equals to 5 to 4, and b to c equals to 6 to 7. What is a to b to c? b is the common term of these two ratios. Let's first use the LCM of b to make these two ratios equivalent. The common term b is now 12, so a to b to c is equal to 15 to 12 to 14. Another way of making the common term in each ratio the same is to find the product of the common terms. In the case of a to b, we multiply both a and b by 6, whereas in the case of b to c, we multiply both b and c by 4. The common term of b is now 24, so a to b to c is equal to 30 to 24 to 28. After simplifying, a to b to c is equal to 15 to 12 to 14. This is for you. Thanks, it's really pretty. We can use this to talk about continued ratio. ABC is a right angle triangle. BC to AC equals to 12 to 13, and AB to BC equals 10 to 24. 
If its perimeter is 45 centimeters, what is its area? The common term of these two ratio is BC. The LCM of 12 and 24 is 24. So BC to AC is equal to 24 to 26. AB to BC equals to 10 to 24, while BC to AB equals to 24 to 10. After simplifying it, BC to AC to AB is equal to 12 to 13 to 5. By using this continued ratio, we can work out that BC is equal to 18 centimeters, AC is equal to 19.5 centimeters, and AB is equal to 7.5 centimeters. The area of right angle triangle ABC is 67.5 square centimeters. We have already discussed the implications of ratios, two-term ratios, and three-term ratios. How can we apply them? When application of ratio is in the study of similar figures, for two similar figures, since their shape are similar, the ratio of the corresponding sides are always the same. We can use this property to solve these two similar quadrilaterals. AD to PS equals to DC to SR, so X is equal to 10. Also, AD to PS equals to BD to QS, so Y is equal to 10. For this problem, I'm going to solve two similar triangles must first be found. Since angle ABM and angle CDM are right angles, and angle AMB equals to angle CMD, then angle MAB must be equal to angle MCD. By the theorem, corresponding angles equal, we can determine that triangle ABM and triangle CDM are a pair of similar triangles. Since all corresponding sides of similar figures are proportional, it is found that BM to DM is equal to 1 over 4. Since we know that the length of BD is 18 meters, we can apply BM to DM equals to 1 over 4 to work out that DM is 14.4 meters and BM is 3.6 meters. Another application of ratio is in scale drawing. A scale drawing is a reduced or enlarged drawing of the real object. Therefore, the object in the drawing is always similar to the original object. You will see a scale in a typical scale drawing. This is used to indicate the ratio of the length of a figure in the drawing to the corresponding length of a real object. A map is a common example of a scale drawing. Here is a 1 to 5,000 scale map. In this map, the direct distance between a museum and a market is 4 cm. 4 multiplied by 5,000 equals to 20,000. This means that the actual direct distance between the museum and the market is 20,000 cm, which is 200 meters. With a walking speed of 5 km per hour, a person takes 2.4 minutes to walk this 200 meters. I got a picture of the Statue of Liberty. The image of the statue is 11.5 cm tall. The height of this statue is 46 meters. If a scale is to be added to this picture, the scale would be 1 to 400. Kimmy, is my beard standard or not? Do you want me to talk about the ratio of a perfect body by using yours as an example? So, what is the ratio of a perfect body? Ancient Greeks believed that if a person's upper body to lower body ratio was equal to their lower body to height ratio, then that person had a perfect body. The ratio is about 0.618. This is the famous golden ratio. Looking at your upper body to lower body ratio, your body seems to be... Hey, Dennis, I didn't say anything bad about you. Why are you leaving all of a sudden? I'm very confident in my build. I'm just going home now to continue building my 1 to 100 robot model. Hey, wait for me!